Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ivan Zujek from Webwash and today I'll show you how to set up a markdown filter with Geshe Syntax highlighting in Drupal 7. If you want to learn more about Drupal, check out our website at webwash.net or follow us on Twitter at webwashnet. Anyway, let's jump into it. First go and download the markdown filter module from drupal.org. Once copied into your site's directory, just go and enable the module. Now let's create a new text format. Go to configuration and text formats. And click on add new text format. We'll call the name Markdown and we'll select Markdown as a filter. Scroll to the bottom and hit save. Let's now create a piece of content to make sure everything's working. Go to content, add content and article. We'll call this test article and we'll copy in some Markdown and click on save. There you go, you can see, you can now see that the Markdown filter is working. Now let's add the Geshe filter to our Markdown text format. Click on Configuration, Text Formats, then click on the Configure link for the Markdown filter. Select Geshe and make sure it's fired off before the Markdown filter and click on Save Configuration. Now let's add in a bit of PHP code to test things out. Let's go and edit our article and paste in a bit of PHP code wrapped between PHP tags and hit save. And there you go. By default, if you want to highlight a bit of PHP code in Geshe, you simply wrap the PHP code with a PHP tag but sometimes that may not work. So here you can see that you simply wrap it with a PHP code. What I want to show you right now is how you can utilize the pre tag. So go to text formats and choose configure, select Geshe and go to the Geshe configuration page. Now what we will do is simply add pre to the generic syntax highlighting tags. And then all we have to do is place a language attribute, so language equals PHP. So let's just add in pre and hit save configuration. Now let's go back to our test article and copy in a bit of code. And as you can see here, we simply have a tag, which is pre language equals PHP. And that simply tells Geshe that the code within the pre-tag is PHP and so use the, use the PHP syntax highlighter and that's it. So let's just add that and then scroll down to the bottom and hit save. And if we have a look, both work. And, and that just demonstrates another way of highlighting code within Geshe. Another reason why you would want to use the pre-tag instead of the generic PHP tag is if you write your articles or content offline first. What I tend to do is I write large articles offline in a text editor and then I use the marked application which simply previews markdown code. Of course the PHP tag doesn't get rendered right whereas the pre-tag gets rendered perfectly. And this allows me to simply write offline and then copy and paste onto a website and all the formatting stays the same. That's it. I hope you have learned something new today. And if you have a question, please leave a comment.